Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's install Commissar. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to the documentation, which you can find here at docs.commissar.io. The first thing that I would do is then head over to the installation section. Depending on whatever distribution that you're working on, you will download the binary. In my case, I'm on a Mac and I have Homebrew installed. So this is the way that I've uh, installed Commissar by passing in brew update, then uh, doing brew tap and installing Commissar. Every time there is a new Commissar update, you can simply pass in brew update and then brew reinstall Commissar. You don't need to specify which version of Commissar you'd like to install. It's always going to install the most up-to-date version. So let's just make sure here on the CLI that Commissar is actually installed. I'm going to pass in the command commissar. So we can see that it's in installed. If you've installed the binary, but you don't see it come up uh, here, it probably means that the binary isn't in the uh, user local bin or your local path uh, doesn't have user local bin added to it. So you're going to want to make sure to check out any issues that you might have with the user local bin and um, make sure that you can run commissar and also to make sure which uh, version you're on, go ahead and run Commissar version. In this case, the latest version is 3.1.0. Once we have the Commissar CLI installed, we're going to want to then start building our config.toml file. The config.toml file is the file that we use to authenticate to our different cloud providers. And for each cloud provider, we have different credentials and different ways of adding credentials that we might need. So for each cloud provider, you can head on over and see what credentials you might need. For AWS, you can add your credentials using a credentials file, or you can use the environment variables that Commissar will detect uh, that are configured locally on your machine. Right below, you have an example of what a config.toml file might look like, and you have this for each one of your cloud providers. So for each cloud provider that you want to authenticate to, make sure to head on over to its page and make sure that you follow the steps thoroughly to make sure that you're configured and you're ready to go. Just so you see what it looks like, I'm going to show you what my local directory looks like. I have a config.toml file created. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And here, as you can see, I'm authenticating to a bunch of different cloud providers. I'm authenticating to AWS, OCI, MongoDB, Atlas, Kubernetes, Civil. I'm also adding a Slack integration since I'm going to want to receive alerts. Uh, I'll add a link to the description below uh, with the steps to create your Slack integration. And I'm also using the data persistence method of um, SQLite. I'm creating a SQLite file, which you can see right here in the directory since I've already run Commissar before. But if not, you can use a Postgres. Uh, database. The instructions on how to do that you can also find in any of the um, cloud provider steps. So as you can see here, you can choose between these two uh, data persistent methods. Cool. So going back over to our directory, we're pretty much ready to run Commissar start. The config.toml file is located right here in the local directory where I am. The Commissar CLI can find it and it is fetching resources in the background. So let's head over to localhost 3000. And here we can see the dashboard with resources that are starting to uh, populate. We can head on over to the inventory here and we can see some of the resources that I have in GCP, MongoDB, OCI and so on. And right above here, I can start filtering and sorting the resources as I see fit. So these are the easy steps to get up and running with Commissar. You just install the CLI, configure your config.toml file, and then run Commissar start. It's pretty much as easy as that. That's it for this video. I hope it was informative. See you in the next one. Bye.